G'day mates, Home Slice here, and welcome back to Vampire. Uh, only up to episode 2 now, and we've just got a new hideout here where we can get some more abilities, but right now we've got to get back to this investigation over here. So, won't dally any longer, let's get into it. Now, I believe I need to use my Vampire... Oh, you just fall straight off. Uh, before, I'm pretty sure I can teleport up there just from here. Yep, cool. Alright. And, got a question That's mark here, strange. so. The trail is very erratic, as if the killer was drunk or hesitant. Yeah, the trail back over here, there was a lot less, well that's, that's a st still a pretty big splatter of blood, but then you've got like the hand there. A lot less there, another hand. And then you've got like a massive blood stain here. Oh, and the, what the hell are the size of these footsteps? That's a massive... That's like a size 18 or 20 or something. Compared to Jonathan's sh shoe anyway. Yeah, let's uh, keep going. Then you've got another small splatter. Oh, what is this? I've got these things popping. Blood quality. I guess people we can At last, eat. A little life. Oh, we just walking in here with a gunshot wound to our heart. Uh, well, let's talk to the bar the bartender. Always knows, right? That's oh, a. Oh God, sir! You look like Jonah's whale. Just spat you out of hell. Can yeah. I get you a drink? No, thank you. I'm not, not thirsty. Well, grab a chair and get some rest. This is going to be another long night. Yeah, well, well, why is it a long night? Why is it going to be a long night? You must be new around here. Don't you know about the murders? Uh, no, I don't. Tell me more about these murders. Every morning for the last few weeks, bodies have been found. And those poor sods didn't die of flu. Any leads? Do the police have any leads on a suspect? Ah, even before the outbreak, coppers never came round here. We're on our own. People die in these parts all the time, and no one cares. Uh, tends to happen when areas... When the pr the plague breaks out, no one wants to go there. Where am I? A bar. Where is this place? A You're pub. my bar, sir, the turquoise turtle. The last ray of light in this dangerous part of town. Aren't you scared? Open all night? So you're open all night? Yep. Figured people might need a place to rest in these dark times. That's nice of him, I guess. Aren't you scared? Scared of what? All the bad shit happens out on the foggy streets. <laughs> and I never go outside. Okay, so that's just like the game telling me that fights won't happen here. It's a safe place, just like a safe haven, I guess. Yeah, let's t ask this question here. I'm looking for someone who might have passed through here recently. Wondered if you might help. It's been quiet tonight. The only other person I've seen went straight up to his room. <laughs> Thought it was kind of rude, actually. You mean he's still here? Well, yeah. We paid for the entire week. Ooh. Uh, I bet he'll escape through the window when we go up there. Who is this man? What does he look like? A gentleman, I guess. Well dressed, quite polite. A professor or something fancy like that. Always writing, reading notes. Guess he likes to note his surroundings and stuff. I don't know. How long has he been here? How long has he been here? He rented a room a few days ago and didn't say when he'd leave. All right. I need to meet this man. I have questions. Just climb the stairs and knock on the first door. I heard him open his window, so I guess he's still awake. And, uh, yes, no funny business. You hear me? This is a respectable establishment. What does he mean by funny business? Fighting or other things? Good evening, sir. 
I wondered if I could ask for your help. Wow, you look like you need a drink. Yes. I apologize for my outfit. It's been... It's been a long night. Been there, seen that. Don't worry, things can only get worse. Really? <laughs> You'd think he's been at a pretty low point. It, it could only get better from there. Yeah, what's going on around here? What's going on around here? Murders. It's like everybody is hiding. You must be new here. Have you not heard about the murders? Everybody fears the return of the sewer dog. Sewer dog? Well, yeah, the bartender just said about murders, but that's it, really. Who is this sewer dog? It's a local bogeyman. Convenient answer for every crime that happened for decades. Oh. You murdered someone. Blame the sewer dog, eh? Is it a fairy tale? I bet it won't end up being one. You make it sound like it's a fairy tale. People will always believe in monsters. It's easier than accepting their own darkness. We can all be monsters. Yeah, it's sad that a lot of people actually do that in today's world. Has anybody entered the bar recently? Can't say. Sorry. I spent the night making love to that gorgeous bottle. See? This is important, sir. Are you sure no one has come in here in the last few hours? I don't know and I don't care. This is a free country. People still have the right to come and go, don't they? Yeah, I guess I'll he just you to your bottle, then. wasn't paying attention because the bartender says otherwise. But um, in the last episode, I said I thought this was like the 17 or 1800s, but it's actually 1918. So that was quite a shock. So, like the where's the inventory? Like the revolver makes sense now that that's a thing. But yeah, let's talk to this lady now. Hello, sir. Are you all right? Is no. there any way I can help you? I don't know. Maybe you could just talk to me. Maybe you prefer to speak with Tom then. He's more agreeable talking to strangers. The bartender. I don't think we caught his name uh yeah what's going i'll go for this one first i just want to talk i didn't mean to scare you i'm not afraid sir it's just i've other customers to take care of i only see one customer oh well yeah of course i mean i best check on them <laughs> oh i guess she's a bit awkward uh what's going on what's going on around here where is everyone too many dead sir First the epidemic, and now all these terrible murders. Yeah, I think it's the Spanish flu. That was another thing I looked for. Uh, I searched the Wikipedia for a description to put in my own YouTube description, and it gave me a brief summary of the game, and it's about the Spanish plague or flu or whatever it is. Uh, about the epidemic. What have you heard about the epidemic? It's a Spanish flu. Yep. Yeah. Killed so many last summer. Thought we'd seen the last of it. Dozens dying every week. Are the authorities doing anything? Nothing. There are so many quarantine zones in London now. It's gotten really hard to travel across town. Yeah, that's why we have vaccines now. The murders. What can you say about them? Bodies found in the streets every morning. Drained of blood. It's just horrible. Some say... The sewer dog is back. The sewer dog? Ooh. What's that? No one knows. People have always disappeared around these parts. The ancients say it's the sewer dog coming out to feed. Who are the ancients? But now he's killing in the streets. God. Ah, um, what is this place? Last one. What is this place? This is Tom's bar. A turquoise turtle. I'm the barmaid here, Sabrina. Oh. If you want to know. I, I, I was hoping that there'd be like more opinions or they elaborate a bit more, but they, they're they sort of just saying the same thing. Yeah, where is everyone? Out in the street? Why would you be if the plague is going on and everyone's getting murdered? You don't seem to have much business. Where is everybody? Well, most people are sleeping right now. And those that are awake tend to avoid going out. What with the murders and all. Ah, oh, well, that answers that question. Are you always open this late at night? No, it's only since the epidemic started. 
Tom thought that people may need a safe place to stay. Yeah, he did say that. Well, I'll leave then. Thank you. All right, before going upstairs, I just want to have a little look out here real quick. Doesn't seem to be anything. It didn't deserve this. Can I go back here? If he says, like, to back off, then I will, but... He... Oh, he's not telling me to, so... Oh. Nothing out it. What is that? It looks like a big piece of meat. Wow. Doesn't look very good. <laughs> but yeah, let's head upstairs now. Can't use the ladder. Confront the man. That's his door. Oh, damn, I wanted to... Prewen has several patrols roaming the area. They do not pursue me. But they're looking for vampires, and they're most efficient. They'll not relent until the killer has been identified. I have a common objective, but I require... I think someone's eavesdropping. Yes. She senses him. You might as well come in, whoever you are. Because... Or one, one or both of them... Slowly, is vampire! A... Who are you? Oh. I, I mean you no harm. Say it's a vampire. Present yourself. I... I need a word. With... Anyone. Anyone, he says. <sighs> oh. Well, that's something I can do for you. I bet that hurt. <sighs> More dialogue. Cool. I like it so far. Unknown. And who might oh, you be? Crap, I wanted to... Dr. Edgar Swansea. Blood quality, 6,000 XP. Hints. The blood quality of the citizen is largely influenced by their health and the number of hints you gathered before embracing him or her. What does this six mean? And it's sort of like a swirly brain thing. Well, if he's a doctor, his social circle would be quite high, wouldn't it? Pillar. Ah, oh, okay, yeah, there's, like, health status. Cool. Well. Oh, wait, what did he say? Shit, I... Oh, I should probably turn subtitles. Oh, I'm tapping escape for subtitles, but... Uh, I'll, I guess I go, I don't know. You first? Yeah, we'll go you first. Tell me, who are you? First, tell me what you want. Then I may tell you. That's none of your concern. Oh. Sir, you have entered my room in the middle of the night, pale as a corpse and shaking like a tree. So please, indulge me. Something, someone, is molesting people. In fact, killing them. Biting them. The calling card of a vampire. Like you. You seem like an expert. I'm a victim. Yeah, I'd say that we are definitely a victim as well. I've been hunted down in the streets and attacked. I'm a victim here too. I... I believe you. Then if you are not a vampire, who or what are you? Dr. Edgar Swansea of the Brotherhood of St. Paul. I'm performing an independent investigation here in an attempt to understand precisely what is going on. Who are you talking to? What do you know? Uh, I think we'll go for this one first. What have you uncovered concerning the murders? It started a few nights ago. Rumours of violent murders. The docks have always been, shall we say, somewhat unsavoury. But this is different. How different? A vampire is at work here. Famished. Reckless. It must be brought to ground, and quickly. Who are you talking to? I heard another voice, that of a woman. Who were you talking to? 
Ridiculous. I've no idea what you're talking about. Oh, bullshit. Something tells me not to trust you. Then the feeling is mutual. <sighs> and what exactly is this brotherhood? Sir, if the name is not familiar to you, then we shall discuss it another time. Oh, fair enough, I guess. He's got snake eyes on his book here. I wonder if it's a Bible or just a standard book. I wonder how much of a role religion will play in this game. It seems like a fair bit already with the cross and all that. Then help me find the culprit. I may. If you'll first tell me why you opened this door. I followed a trail. The scent of blood from a recent victim. It led me here. You thought I was your aggressor. That explains a great deal. We are both chasing the same shadow. Oh, are we though? I mean, he seems trustworthy. And the woman he was talking to, it sounded like they were talking about, like, finding the murderer or whatever. I think I'm going to go with yes. It's I I'm not sure I yes, but I'm I'm leaning towards yes, so let's do that one. A shadow, indeed. Yet I heard his voice in my head. There was a moment I believed I was mad. You should let me handle this affair. You've no idea what you're up against. No. I will find the monster. He is mine. How will you do any better than I? But then let me ask you this. What are your intentions if you find the killer? Uh, yeah, I want answers more than anything. I will at last have the answers to my questions. Hmm. Then I can only wish you good hunting. And pray we shall meet again. I don't even know what my questions are going to be, though. Uh, can we loot some stuff in here? Can we take his shit? Looks like we can. He's got five shillings for us. Cool. Anything else here? Can we speak again? Would you be so kind as to leave the room? Okay, I, I will in a second. But yeah, the uh, other person in the room. Definitely a vampire. Track the killer. Interrogate. Interrogate? That's a bit aggressive, isn't it? It's locked, all right. Yeah, it is. Well, I guess we're going to have to if talk Swansea to... If Swansea is not my attacker, it means somebody else came here tonight. Someone must know something. Yeah, this guy, he was, like, really, like, telling me to back off and stuff. So let's see. Hello, sir. May I disturb you again? And you're still ugly as sin. Ugh, damn it. Uh, I'll go, we'll try again. Has anybody entered the bar recently? Just, just in Can't case. Say. Sorry. I spent the night making love. This isn't... I don't know. Okay. I'll leave you to your bottle then. Well, I guess I'll try the bartender again. Welcome back. I can't say... Hey, I told you, you were the only other stranger I uh. had. Ah, uh, shit. Hint required. What could that mean? Well, I'll go goodbye, goodbye for Mr. now. And I'll have a... I'll have another quick look around. Maybe I need to get something out of her first? Evening, sir. Can I help you? I have a few questions for you. Yeah. Well, if you must. She was hesitant to talk as well. I think I've made the right choice by going to her before rushing into the bartender there. I spoke to Dr. Swansea. He's not the man I'm looking for. Now, I want the truth. The truth? What do you mean? I suspect that someone else was here tonight. And I don't think Tom wants to tell me about it. I'm uh, just the barmaid here, okay? If Tom says you're the only visitor we had, then you're the only visitor we had. I can feel your fear, madam. Yeah. Please, tell me what's going on. <sighs> it's Will. William Bishop. He came in here earlier tonight and he... Well, I thought he was going to clock someone. I don't know who that is. Yeah, what happened tonight? What happened tonight? He was dead drunk, as usual. But my God, his, his, his eyes, his face. He must have caught something awful. He shouted and, and, and cried. It was terrible. Why are you so afraid? Why are you so afraid? I mean, his skin, his hands. I scrubbed every glass and every chair that he touched. 
God, I hope it's not contagious. Well, I guess he's got the flu or he's a vampire as well. Tell me about this William Bishop. Will was a sailor who worked at the cannon factory before he lost that job. A nice bloke, really. He's never been violent until tonight. Why keep it a secret? Why not tell me about it? Tom's nothing if not loyal. After Will lost his job, he offered him one ear. They used to be good mates. But recently, Will... Will started to get very aggressive. I see. Thank you for your candor. I'll be sure to talk to Tom. It's, uh... Oh, my game's a little... Frozen? Oh, no, it's good. Citizen hints. Yeah, you just, you've just discovered a hint. It reveals a secret about a citizen or someone related to them. So, yeah, now we go over to the bartender here. As a vampire, you need human blood to... Oh, I know that already. So, yeah, that's the social circle there. Tom and William Bishop used to be good friends. Well, fuck, there's a lot more hints to go through here. And then there's Dyson Delany here. That's the other guy in the... In the bar. Why is there the little thing in the bottom left of his corner? I guess it just indicates that he doesn't have blood as good as the other people. Can I have a quick scan again? Because that could, like, trigger something for me to pick up, maybe. So I just want to go up here real quick, too. Doesn't look like there's anything... Yeah, an old mate probably still doesn't want to talk. Well, I want to talk to this guy first, and then we'll do the bartender. See if we can get another another hint. May I disturb you again? And you're still ugly as sin. No, he still doesn't have anything. I'll leave you to your bottle then. Okay, last guy. You again. What can I do for you? Citizen hints. As a vampire, you can force the citizen to reveal... Information thanks to a hint you have discovered. Blue prompt. Tell me about William. Tom, talk to me about the visit from your old friend, William. Yes, Will came by tonight, but he's not my friend anymore. Who is he? Who is he? William. Just an old sailor who loves his gin too much. He worked for years at the canning factory before it closed. Is he dangerous? Is he dangerous? Yeah. Like many drunks, he's all bark and no bite. Can barely stand up most of the time. How was he tonight? How was he tonight? Was he different? Sicker than usual, perhaps. He whined and mumbled about how mean people were to him and how he'd like to talk to me outside. And then he left when I refused. Hmm. Yeah, why lie? I guess the barmaid told us that he was loyal so that could be it why lie to me if he is not your friend i didn't lie i said you were my only unannounced customer and that's the truth oh fair enough i guess i need to find him it's a matter of urgency do you know where he is you could try his boat it's up by the north pier he sleeps there when he's too drunk to get home please describe him to me what do you expect He's a tall, sick bastard with a bad rash and torn old clothes. William used to be strong. Now he's a mess. Thank you, Tom. If you see him, tell him I don't want him back here unless he cleans up his act, okay? Well, if I remember correctly... Yeah, the footsteps are even in here. And, like, surely he would have been covered in blood. and But they didn't say anything about that. I said, these footsteps are huge, and he just said that he's tall, and typically taller people have larger footsteps, or larger feet. My brother is six foot seven, and he's got like size 16s or something, and I'm just a I size 10. I will get to the bottom of this intrigue. What's been done to me, to this city? Yeah, lots of bad shit, by the sounds of it. Don't see anyone over here yet, but they said to search the boat. I want to have a quick look around before I...
too much. Yeah, what, like, what can we enter? And are there heaps of enemies around, or... What else do we have here? Okay, well, that one's locked. It's locked. How about this one? Oh, this one's open. Oh, we knock on the door to talk Nobody to... Nobody at home. Oh. Okay, well, can't we break the door down? I won't, but I wonder if that's an option. If we can't get in any other way. Ah, oh, this is... Yeah, I remember this place. Alright, well, let's go back to the docks. Ben, uh, this is the first time I've left left the bar in this episode. There's been a lot of dialogue in this one. Uh, that's probably not going to be for uh, what every viewer wants to see. Uh, but I really like this so far. So now, is there anything over here? I really want to get everything I can. I don't... I'm a bit of a completionist. And look what we got. Two screws and two grease. I wonder what they could be used for. Can't go over there. Yeah, I don't want to miss a thing. When it comes to these sorts of games. I want to do every side quest, every main quest. Like every little miscellaneous thing that you can do. That's probably just... Oh, I guess there'd be a few people out there who do do things that way. But yeah, this... I imagine this series won't be for everyone. Would you like to know more? Join the Royal Fleet today. Would you like to know more? Ask at your nearest recruiting office. And it's a big navy ship. I want... I can't remember the exact date we're in. So I wonder if we're still in World War One or it's uh, over. But it is 1918. Oh shit, he's dead. The body is still warm. And a letter's this there. This man has just been drained of blood. Well, I think we should... Uh, we're a, we're a doctor, so we'll examine the wounds first. This corpse has been dried of its blood, just like the previous victim. That, that's it? No talk about the lacerations, or... This man was armed. He tried to defend himself. And the note. What's this? Some sort of note. I bet it was left by the, the killer. Blood and... I want to... Shit, I missed the, uh... Here we go. Weaknesses of vamp... Oh, we already know that one. Uh... Crap, where'd that note go? Here. Prewin orders. Some orders written on a mechanical typewriter. 30th of October from G. McCullum to Dock Patrols. Object. Multiple deaths in the docks region. We believe a nasty leech is involved. Locate the beast. Purge it and quickly. Warning. According to recent reports, this vampire is very violent. Approach with extreme caution. I know we lack men in this part of town, but don't send rookies to investigate the case. If I'm correct, we've got a frenzied one killing each night. As always, search abandoned places first. Like old houses, basements, sewers or warehouses. Destroy the leech, brothers. I really don't like the, the leech name. Like, I understand because they suck blood, and I'm not saying I don't like it because it's like, we're a vampire, and it's a derogatory name for a vampire. It just sounds weird. Just the the name, or the word leech, just sounds weird to me. Vampire just sounds way cooler. <laughs> anyway. These men, they're a company of professional vampire hunters. Yeah, cool. Move on. There are blood splats on the other side of the canal. I must reach that barge. Yeah, well, before we turn into a bat and teleport over. Let's have a super quick look. Can we get this? No, we can't walk on the boat. Okay, well, let's head over then. Okay, well... Western Docks. Let's check the map real quick. Ooh, Eternal Thirst. Identify and confront the vampire who created me. Track the killer. Follow the blood trail. Uh, well, there's nothing this way. This is the only way to go. Wait, what were those little tad things? Prewan Gunner. Oh, they're the vampire hunters. Well, they'll probably try and kill me because I'm a vampire myself. Even though, like, it's not our aim to kill them. 
uh, I'll try and not kill people. Opportunity attack. Out of combat. Silently behind an enemy. Oh, I, oh there's one up there as well. What does G high do? Oh, it just makes it go away. Well, that's nice to clear up the HUD a bit. I feel like, just like in the first episode, I'm going to be forced into combat here. Eh. Oh, well, I can't get this now anyway. So let's just quickly finish him off and get this loot here. Ranged weapons. Equip and press right-click to use your ranged weapons and inflict both standard and stun damage. Be aware that your ammo is limited. A munition crate. Good. I may need a lot of bullets. Oh, whoops. I feel like I'm back on the front line again. That was a mistake. That's not... Do I have it equipped? Offhand. E details. Oh, we can upgrade it. Cool. Well, I don't have enough stuff for it. How do I equip it, though? It's telling me to use a right click to aim, but that's that command isn't actually working. Crap, what's the... Oh, it's Q for the walk. Oh, well, well, he's got vision right there. Well, I'm just going to walk up to him and... <laughs> he was super easy. He had a flamethrower. I was a little scared. I thought he'd be a bit tougher. But no. Well, let's keep going then. Oh, another... Oh, that's just shillings. I thought it was a note. I think this top level's clear, so let's head down. That door's blocked there. Oh, we just fall off. I was waiting for a command to teleport. Enemy card. Press V to spot enemies around and display the enemy card. Resistances. There are four types. Melee, ranged, blood, and shadow. Orange indicates a medium. Red indicates a high. So this guy's red for ranged, so don't bother with the gun. Oh, whoops. I, I went to right-click to get my gun out again. So, does that count for the... For the vampire ability? <laughs> oh, crap. Eat him! There we go. Oh, we got him. Don't dodge me. I just want to get my blood ability back. Okay, he's down. More ammo or a note? Common handle partner shotgun shell. Oh, I guess we can get a shotgun at some stage. That'll be nice. Nothing else over here. Oh, I should probably use my vampire vision. Yeah, we'll go up here. Another Aprilan cadet... How many do we have? Just two. Oh, that's a bit... Did we cause that blood stain, or was that there already? I guess I'll need to look out for blood stains that I make in combat now. Can we get a sneak attack? Probably not. Oh, whoops, I did it again. I just want to try and use my, uh, my gun, but it's not... Oh, we're out of stamina, actually. Right, let's eat him now. Oh, he still he still had one hit left in him. So we'll loot him. And I'm pretty sure everything up this top level's clear. Oh, is this power thing? No, we can't use that. Oh, there's something over here though. Big old crate. Used Lupara. Sort off shotgun. Well, cool. But how do I equip them? I don't know. Enter. Yeah, I've... Oh, here we go here. God, silly me. And now we go back. And now I tap G to toggle my... No. I can't toggle my offhand weapon. Oh, crap. 
He came out of nowhere. So I'll finish him off. Does he have loot? No. Oh, he does. Aluminium powder and shards. Well, let's jump down now. I wonder if we take fall damage. I haven't had any falls that uh, have been very big yet, but... Yeah, let's continue following this blood trail here. Rats and hideouts. Rats are often located near hideouts. Using sensors will help you locate them more easily. Well, I guess this is a hideout then. Oh, there's the blood stains here as well. So I wonder if he's going to be in the hideout. Could be. It doesn't look... Yeah, we've got a body over here. Before I search that, though. Anything. No. And I can't go to the bottom floor. So let's search him. Oh, it was just loot. I thought there'd be a note or something. Ah, uh, well, and let's level up as well. Or get our perks or whatever it is we do. Man, his eyes. Uh, what to go for? Increase your blood absorption. Increase the damage. Uh, I think it does do quite low damage, so... I think I'll actually go for that. That sounds good. It's only 300. Yeah, that sounds solid, so let's confirm that. Wait, hell, that's 300. Uh, that doesn't actually tell me, I think, how much it is. That one doesn't either. Or maybe I need to get some other stuff. Yeah, see, these have an, an experience indicator, but this one doesn't over here. I need 250 shadow. So I guess this is a shadow ability, and I haven't... Unlocked. Oh, that cost a thousand. And this cost a thousand. Oh, well, I won't bother. We'll uh, just confirm that. The following night. Cutscene? Oh, no. That, well, oh, well, that's fine. Do we have refill all our ammo. And we got some more shillings. And I can't read that note. Uh, but I think I'll end this episode here, and I hope we finally catch this uh, murderer or vampire or whoever it is in the next one. We'll continue following that blood trail. But anyway, peace in the Middle East, and may all your games be good ones.